Confused about the cosmos? Can't tell a planet from a star? Then give us just five minutes and we'll show you what they are. Jack Horkheimer, Stargazer, director of the Miami Space Transit Planetarium, tells you all about the night sky and the biggest show of all, the universe. And now this week's episode. The Planet King dazzles and how to use the moon to find one of the largest visible stars. Greetings, greetings, fellow stargazers. Mark next week, Thursday the 27th, as the night you'll be able to use the moon to find one of the largest stars visible to the naked eye. And while you're out there, make sure you catch this month's King of the Planet show, because right now, Jupiter is at its closest and biggest and brightest since the beginning of the 21st century. Let me show you. Okay, we've got our sky set up for next Thursday, August 27th, between 9 and 10 p.m. your local time, facing due south, where the two brightest things you'll be able to see are an exquisite first quarter moon, and to its left, in the southeast, a super dazzling Jupiter, which is the largest planet in our solar system, although the second brightest because it is so much farther away than the brightest, which is Venus. Jupiter is very special right now because it was officially in opposition on August 14th and is still very close and very bright. And you'll be able to watch it travel across the sky almost all night long. It rises at sunset, is highest at 1 a.m., and sets at sunrise. And with a pair of monoculars or a small telescope, you'll actually be able to see four pinpoints of light, which are the four largest of Jupiter's 60 plus known moons, and which constantly change their positions as they orbit Jupiter. In fact, you can see the difference in just a few hours. And believe it or not, all but Europa are larger than our own moon. So don't miss Jupiter up all night. But now let's use the moon to find one of the largest stars visible. Indeed, all you have to do on Thursday night, the 27th, is just look to the right of the moon because it will be parked right next to it. It is a red star named Antares and it marks the heart of the super constellation, Scorpius the Scorpion, whose stars look something like a giant fish hook or the capital letter J, if we connect them with imaginary lines. And believe me, Antares is a true superstar, which will absolutely wow you. Okay, if we could go out into space, we would see that our moon is about 250,000 miles away from Earth. Our sun, however, is 93 million miles away, whereas Jupiter is on average a whopping half a billion miles away, roughly 500 million miles. Now, our moon is about 2,000 miles wide, Jupiter is 88,000 miles wide, but our sun is almost a million miles wide. And Antares, however, is another story altogether. You see, if we could place one edge of Antares where our sun is, it would stretch out past the orbits of Mercury, Venus, Earth and Moon, Mars, even past Jupiter. In fact, Antares is about 100 million miles wider than the entire distance from the sun to Jupiter, 600 million miles wide. So huge we could fit over 350 million of our suns inside it. Wow! So use the moon as a super duper star finder Thursday evening the 27th and watch Jupiter dazzle all night long. Keep looking up. Make the Stars Your Own is available on DVD or VHS for $19.95. In addition, Stargazing with Jack Horkheimer, Cosmic Comics for the Skywatcher is also available for $19.95.